Hello there, Whipper here, and once again, welcome back to another mod showcase. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the Lawnmower and Steam Bikes mod. And I know what you're probably thinking at this moment in time. You're probably thinking that's that's a really weird mix of features for a mod to add into Minecraft. I mean, we've got one end of the scale of lawnmowers, which are utility items to, you know, cook grass. And then on the other end of the scale, we've got really fast steam bikes. <laughs> and you're like, how are these two things related and why are they in the same mod? Uh, but there is one linking kind of feature, and that's that they both use coal to run on, and they're both steam powered. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much the reason why they're both in the same mod. But it's still a really awesome mod, and I'm going to be starting off with the lawnmower functionality, and the new lawnmower item or vehicle that you can get in and ride around in and cut your grass. And it's a lot more fun than using the water bucket method to get rid of tall grass <laughs> if you can just ride around in your lawnmower and cut the grass that way. It is so fun to use this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out into my garden and as you can see it's very overgrown. That is extremely overgrown. I really need to cut this back a bit and clean it up and make it look presentable. <laughs> uh, so I've got the perfect tool for the job which is of course this lawnmower item. So to craft one of these lawnmowers you're going to need to get yourself a boat and three bits of iron for the blades at the front which you're going to spin around and cut the grass and you're also going to need to get yourself a lawnmower key which is uh, made by combining iron and also some seeds. And I'm presuming you mould the key out of the iron and then you dye it with the seeds or something. That seems logical. And that's pretty much how you can, you know, start to use a lawnmower. But there is one more thing you need and that is of course the fuel in the form of coal which you just need to place in your inventory and then the lawnmower will automatically take that and then use it to power itself. So I'm just going to place down this lawnmower now and as you can see it looks exactly the same as a boat just with some kind of metal blade bolted on the front and it looks really epic uh, but then to actually get inside of this lawnmower you need to hold um, the lawnmower key in your hand and then right click on the lawnmower itself and then you'll get inside of it and you can hear the engine starting and you can see at the top here we've got a new GUI and we've got the health of the lawnmower as soon as the health of the lawnmower reaches zero it explodes I'm not joking and I'll show you that later and we've also got a fuel bar which is going down because it's currently even though I'm not moving it's still using coal out of my inventory. So the bar goes down and then the um, coal is removed from your inventory. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around and cut some grass. So yes, you can hear this lovely lawnmower sound and the blade is spinning around and it even has an animation. So I'll just show you that now. You can see the blade is spinning, looks so cool. <laughs> and I'm cutting the grass and all of the tall grass is being removed. But you may have also noticed that it doesn't seem to be removing flowers or this super tall grass. I'm not even sure if that has a technical name. I'm just going to call it super tall grass, but yeah, so it's only removing the normal tall grass. Uh, but there are some other features of this. <laughs> but it's so cool to just drive around in a lawnmower, cutting your grass, and pretty much to control it, if you haven't noticed already, you just press W to go forwards, uh, S to go backwards, and then you can look where you want to go, and then you'll go in that direction. Very simple controls, uh, nothing too difficult there. You can of course use the A and D keys, but I find it a lot easier to just look where I want to go, in a similar fashion to how you can control boats in the game as well. But now I want to show you another feature. Uh, so now I've cut some grass, I'm going to get myself some mobs. Of course it has to be pigs. And then I'm going to place down some pigs in front of my lawnmower. So yeah, loads of pigs here. Can't miss those. I'm just going to get in my lawnmower again with the key. And watch what happens here. Yes, I'm going to grind up these pigs, get some bacon out of them. As you can see, this lawnmower is super effective at killing mobs. Although it does kind of bounce off them. So you have to be going at quite a fast speed for it to actually kill them uh, but let's just grind up some of these pigs are you dead yet come on yes look at that killing pigs with a lawnmower <laughs> never would have thought I'd do this in Minecraft oh yes but let's just go back over here and try it again this small baby pig is gonna die oh yeah the devastation I mean nothing can survive this spinning blade at the front of this lawnmower <laughs> and you may have also noticed they've got like slime particle effects coming out the back of a lawnmower it looks really awesome it's like the grass being cut up and churned up and yeah, that's pretty much it. But there is one thing I need to show you, and that is that there's actually like a lawnmower inventory. And to access this, you press left control and then right click. And you can see there we've got a cargo hold and then a fuel slot. The fuel slot doesn't work. As you can see, if I put some fuel in here and then try and drive, it's not working. It doesn't take the fuel out of the um like fuel part of this lawnmower. So I can't move here, which is a bit of a pain. But I can if I put it in my inventory. So it takes it out of your inventory and not the actual inventory of the lawnmower. 
But you can also see there, when I showed you, uh, that there's actually some uh, seeds in the cargo hold. And this is where all of the seeds you get from destroying the grass accumulate. They're not just dropped on the ground as normal item drops. You get them directly in your lawnmower's inventory. And overall, it's just so fun to cut your grass using a special lawnmower. So I'm just going to finish off by showing you the final feature of this lawnmower, and that is that once it's lost all of its health, it's going to destroy itself. So here we go, I'm just going to like hit it once, and oh my god, look at the size of that crater. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be quite that big. Look how big it is. <laughs> yes, that is one quite explosive lawnmower. It's very devastating. And there is one final feature, actually. I keep saying one final feature, but I have noticed a little bug with this mod. Uh, you can't go up or down blocks. And that the result of that is that this happens. So uh, <laughs> watch what happens here. You'd probably expect me to fall in the ditch, but no. I am a flying lawnmower, it's like a magic carpet, but it's a lawnmower, <laughs> and I can just fly over this crater, and you can't go up blocks either, but you can just fly. I am flying right now, yes. This is a really weird bug, and it's actually quite fun, <laughs> but it does mean if you have like a garden that goes up a hill or something, you're not going to be able to mow it. You have to have a very flat garden, otherwise it's not going to work for you, but yeah. That's pretty much all of the features of this lawnmower, and it doesn't break as easily as a boat. As you can see there, crashed into the wall, and it hasn't broken. But now I'm going to move on to the next part of this mod, which is of course the steam bikes. So next up, I'm going to be showing you the steam bikes that this mod adds into the game. And I'm just going to give you a pre-warning here that these things are really ridiculously buggy. And that's probably an understatement. I mean, they're very good at going really quickly in a straight line, but as soon as you want to actually turn a corner, <laughs> uh, you're going to have some problems. Uh, but there are two different varieties of steam bikes. We've got the Black Widow, which is on my left here, which has a rather nice black and orange colour scheme. And then on the right, we've got the Maroon Marauder, which has a rather nice brown and red kind of colour scheme to it. And you may have noticed looking at the models of these bikes that their wheels are paper thick. I mean, look at that. <laughs> They're so thin, it's ridiculous. How are they ever going to provide enough grip to turn corners? That's probably why they handle so badly. They've just got no rubber. There's just no way you can turn a corner with paper thin wheels. <laughs> but as you can see there, it looks pretty epic, really nice texture, and model as well. But now I'm going to show you how you can actually craft these things. So the crafting recipe is actually quite complex. So to craft the Black Widow, you're going to need to combine black wool with a component called a bike chassis, and then a steam engine here as well. And to craft the bike chassis, you're going to need uh, two of these bike wheels and all of these other components. And to craft the bike wheels, you need gold and then some iron as well. And then to craft the steam engine, you're going to need water and then a furnace and redstone. And that kind of makes sense uh, in its own right. But then also to craft the Maroon Marauder, it's the same two components combined with instead of black wool, red wool, and then you get the lovely red bike. And I believe the red one is a little bit faster than the um, black and orange one, so if you want to go for maximum speed, this is the one for you. But I'm going to start off by hopping on this Black Widow bike here, and we're going to go in a straight line, because that's what this thing does best. And I wonder if the chunks will be able to update quick enough, because this bike goes about 30 blocks per second. It's pretty crazy. You can see the speed I'm picking up now. It's crazy. The chunks aren't loading quick enough. I can't even see the tower blocks, uh, but eventually we should come to the end. <laughs> you can see how quick this thing is, though. It's insane. Actually, I think I'm going to stop, and we're going to try and turn a corner. Oh no, this is going to be so difficult. Oh, when you watch this, come on, stop. Right, I want to go that way. Okay, um, this way. Okay. <laughs> it's so... D oh, my, my, my bike's gone. As you can see, this mod is a bit buggy. Let's try that again, shall we? So, if you turn too quickly, your bike just disappears. So you have to be really careful about how you turn. So let's just stop. Okay, right, we're going to want to go that way. Oh, oh, just about made it. It's just crazy hard to control this thing. I don't know how they managed to mess up the controls so badly. And my bike's just gone again. What is going on? <laughs> Come on, mod. Why are you doing this to me? Hello, chicken. I, I just killed a chicken with my bike. Uh, yeah, don't run over chickens. Why did the chicken cross the road? Be run over by a steam bike. That's why. <laughs> okay, right. Um, okay. I think going on the grass is probably the best idea for this because I don't have to worry about not being able to turn. Uh, right, this this bike just keeps disappearing. I don't understand this mod. As you can see, extremely buggy. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is, as you can see there, it's taking coal out of my inventory. And you can also, the same with the lawnmower, if you press control and then right click, you've got like a inventory screen. And then you can put some stuff like some raw chicken in the cargo hold and bring it around with you. But again, the fuel slot doesn't work. But what I wanted to show you, uh, wait, my bike's just disappearing. It's just going like a crab. It's, it's just, it doesn't want to be ridden by me anymore. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is if you get 
on it and then provide some fuel to it. And then if you hit it, no, get back here, bike. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me, bike. Don't be a crab. Anyway, I'm just going to hit you. Right, here we go. Massive explosion because, of course, you've got fuel in the bike and there's a spark. It's going to blow up and you're going to end up with a massive crater like we've got here. And for some reason, we can actually collect the bike back. I'm pretty sure in real life, if your bike exploded, there'd be no way you could collect your bike back and then replace it down like that. It just wouldn't work. It'd be like the end of your bike. <laughs> but luckily, because this is Minecraft and it's not realistic in the slightest, we can actually get our bike completely in its original condition. But now let's test out the other bike. So we need to find a nice... A uh, flat area here, a uh, straight area as well, we don't like corners. And we're going to place down this maroon marauder and see if we can actually turn corners any better in this one. Or we can actually just like not disappear for once. Okay, we've actually turned a corner, our bike is still intact. <laughs> this is this is great, we're making progress. The bike hasn't disappeared, we're getting loads of speed up. Actually, it seems like this one's a little bit slower, so maybe this is the slower bike of the two. <laughs> and I've found the city again, yay! <laughs> Oh, right, now let's do the horrible task of actually trying to turn a corner. Let's go down here. Yes, come on, bike. You can do it. We actually turned... It oh. Okay, it was going too well. The bikes just disappeared again. <laughs> oh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything in this mod. Uh, the lawnmower is actually not as buggy as the steam bikes are, so if you really want to download this mod, I suggest just using the lawnmower because it's quite a lot of fun. As long as you don't have any hills in your world, it's really fun to just ride around and destroy grass. Uh, but the bikes very buggy. If you're going in straight lines, they're very efficient, very quick to get to different locations, but if you're doing anything else, like planning to go around a circuit or a raceway or something, then it's never going to happen. You're just not going to be able to turn any corners. <laughs> just go in straight lines, otherwise your bike's just going to randomly disappear. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. This is the Lawn Mowers and Steam Bikes mod, and for those of you that have been subscribed to me for like three years or something, back in uh, early 2012, I think I did do a rev review of this Lawn Mower mod, and this is like a reincarnation of that lawnmower mod. So this mod is so ancient and it was actually less buggy back then, which is really weird. Maybe they just didn't port it over correctly. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and leave a like if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you next time.